Yakima, Washington, when the retrovirus that causes AIDS was isolated in a blood test created to screen for its presence in 1984, experts said they hoped to have a vaccine within two years. Thirty-four years later, a vaccine has yet to be developed, but a medication to reduce the risk for transmission of HIV has. What's interesting is that many people, especially those most vulnerable to exposure, have no idea it exists. We don't necessarily talk about sex in public, but it's a public health issue and it's important to know the medications available, said Lisa Hefnor, nursing director for Yakima Neighborhood Health Services. Initially approved by the FDA in 2012, the medication is a combination of two antiretrovirals, Imtriva and Viriad, manufactured by Gilead. Studies leading to its approval for daily preventative use found a reduction in transmission of HIV to non-infected users. Although at least one pre-FDA approval study included heterosexual couples with one HIV-positive partner, widespread knowledge of the medication especially outside the LGBTQ community, remains minimal. Yakima County averages 12 new cases of HIV every year. In 2017, the number of new cases was 27. Although several factors may have caused the increase, the definite reason is not yet known, said Melissa Sixberry, the Health District's Director of Disease Control. It shows the importance of knowing your status and protecting yourself, Sixpiri said. So far this year, there have been only four new cases in the county, much closer to the annual average, Sixpiri said. In fact, the overall number of new HIV cases around the state has decreased in recent years, according to the Washington State Department of Health. Providing assessment for an education on PREP is one way state and local health officials are working to reduce new cases. Lowering risk for transmission of HIV has come a long way since Washington's first infection was diagnosed in 1981, a time when experts worked tirelessly to understand what was happening and how it was contracted. Before anyone knew what to call it, or even what was causing it. The numbers of those infected had already reached epidemic proportions, but even that fact remained to be seen. Before experts realized what it was, first, gay-related immune deficiency or acquired immunodeficiency disease, later, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, and even longer before they definitively knew its routes of transmission, its devastation was seen across the spectrum. Higher risk individuals include men who have sex with other men, those with multiple sex partners and intravenous drug users. Risk also increases with substance use and abuse, because it can alter decision making and lead to people becoming more willing to engage in activities they may not otherwise. And although an individual may not engage in risky behaviors, she or he may have a partner who does. Once we know. There's more dialogue and education given and different treatment options, and then hopefully a lot of prevention efforts, Hefner said. They also have special pricing in their pharmacy, where they often get medications cheaper than at private pharmacies, Hefner said. We're ensuring there's no side effects and looking at how they're tolerating the daily dose, Hefner said. Thank you.